Hello everybody, Reggie Time here and this morning we're going to be looking at my results for January in Holder Manager because I won't be playing again on the Euro sites today, I'm going to be playing on Sky from all of my play today, so I'm going to be looking at my results, just talking briefly about um, how I feel the month's gone um, and what my plans are for February, shouldn't take more than 5 or 10 minutes, then we'll we'll do maybe half an hour or so of live play on Sky, more than likely um 10 and L rather than 20 and L um and 30 and L because Sky have launched their February promotion. It's the Poker Premier League. It's my well I don't like any of the promotions Sky do, but it's probably my least favourite because it's the ones that make the it's the one that makes the cash games worst. Um, it just encourages loads of people to grind loads of tables. It encourages people who don't normally play the cash games who are quite good to come and play the cash games. It encourages good players who normally play 100 nil to move down to 50 nil. It just compresses the entire pool. So 50 nil players come to 30, 30 go to 20, 20 go to 10. It's going to be a, a, like a, a shit month on Sky probably, but it's probably where I'm going to um, focus most of my play. And we'll explain why as we look through um, my results for the month. We'll get straight to the graph because that's what people like most. And then... Yeah, we can't argue. It's like in terms of numbers, it's been a good month. There's been um, around 56,000 hands. We've made um, whatever that is, around $750 when we stick the um, rate back on top of there. It gets up to like $865 thereabouts, maybe a bit more. It's hard to get exactly. On the very end one, 901, who knows? But around 850 to $900, including rake back. So on the face of it, really good month. Like, why are you going to go back to Sky Ridge? You know, why are you going to be playing more on Sky when, you, when you've made that much? Which is, to be fair, is pretty good. Um, this is one of the reasons. We've certainly ran significantly above EV in the last week or so to make that graph look particularly impressive. I mean, it's still be decent there, don't get me wrong. Um, but not as good, obviously. Um, our all in EV is like two hundred dollars better, so it's at like eight buy-ins at my at my um my regular stake. So that's that's the graph. This is how it looks in stakes by the month. And if we, I don't know why that's in that order. I'll do it by total hands so we can look at that. So twenty five and L. This is mostly triple eight. Um, nine bigs a hundred, all in EV of seven point three eight. That's really good. I mean, I'd be hard pushed to do much better than that. I think um, it's possible, but difficult. Um, this is like GG and party poker, mostly significantly different in terms of like my all uh, BB hundred good, but my all in EV is down at like two point five bigs a hundred, and I think that's probably reasonable. Um, I think it could probably achieve more than that. I could possibly push that up to maybe four, but you know that's about as good as I think I could get that without some significant study. That to be frank, I haven't got the time. Well, I've got the time, but I haven't got the inclination to put in. Um, this is fifty and L, which was small sample, total disaster really. Um, I mean, it's a small sample. I could do better than that, but I think even long term, I think my fifty and L. That like Euro site win rate is it's pretty bobbins. It's pretty, pretty shit. Just barely better than break even. It's pretty tough. And I am not prepared to put the study in to, to become better at 50 nil speed poker because it's um I don't think it's a grind that I'd want. I don't think it's a you know, I don't think I'd want the variance that comes with even if I did put the study in and got to say being a three big blind hundred winner. Um still a hell of a lot of variance involved in three big blind win rates um and i can live without the constant you know like regular downswings that would be part of that grind um for like 200 300 400 dollar minus weeks and things like that I can live without that don't need that in my life more about the easy life more about the let's just have a nice stress-free life make the money the easy way and um don't put up with a lot of the bullshit that sometimes poker can throw at us. Omaha, look at that. We played how many hands of Omaha? We played a whole 500 hands of Omaha this month, or not nearly 500. We did okay, actually, you know. We, I still 
have a desires to get into to get into Omaha at some point. Who knows when or if that will ever happen. Um but yeah, I still have desires for that. So that's how the results by stakes have gone for the month. In terms of like an hourly rate, we've made let's just say seven hundred and forty three. And then what what did we add on the graph? I can't remember. So we made seven hundred and forty three dollars um I don't know what the fuck's that coming back at. So eight hundred eighty seven dollars we'll say. Eight hundred and ninety for simplicity's sake. And we played three days and fourteen hours. So that's blah, 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 blah. let's get the fucking let's get the maths out. Um twenty four times three plus fourteen. So we played eighty six hours. So we get about ten dollars an hour playing on the Euro sites, which is fine. You know, if I had to do that to keep my head above water, then that's what I would do. Um, I could probably do it for 120 hours a month and, you know, that's it. You make about, make about eight or 900 quid a month. Fine. You know, if, if that's what I ever was left with, that, if they were my only, that's all I could do, then fine. That's that's kind of what I would do and I would just get on with it. Uh, yeah. Win rate for the month is six big blinds, 100, 4.55 adjusted. I think that's a fair number. Um, so we could probably push that up to five. But, um, yeah, um, it's not exciting. It's not exciting pushing those win rates. Now, I'm sure there's some people watching this video who don't have win rates anywhere near as good as this. So, like, fucking hell, it looks like a win rate like that. Um, so, I don't want to appear like an entitled prick. I just don't enjoy the the way I have to, that the, the the grind, the way I have to play the grind um, of like the, the, the natural variance, even though we haven't seen too much in the graph um, earlier in the, in the month when like we went from here to here. Uh, if we get that across that off, can we? We went from like here to here. So we played like 23,000 hands. And just like lost money, like lost do, 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 four hundred dollars in twenty three thousand hands. I mean that's I mean, fair enough. I accept two hundred fifty of that would come pretty quickly from fifty and L, but that's not fun. You know, twenty three thousand hands. It probably takes me what like thirty five to forty hours to do that to then just like lose money. So I, that's probably like I don't know a week and a bit worth of play to just be like down four hundred. That wouldn't happen on, say, Sky, for example. Probably wouldn't happen on Unibet. Um, I could just live without it, to be honest. So the, so the plan for the month of February is just, just grind Sky. And I just want to have a relaxing month. I mean, this has been a pretty... Stressful's the wrong word. Um, but it's been... It hasn't been enjoyable. Uh, it has literally felt like fucking work. Um, and I don't want poker to feel like work. I want poker to feel like something that is fun. Something I enjoy doing, and I also make enough money from. So the plan for the month is to play Sky. I'm gonna. I'm probably not gonna play any higher than twenty and L. It's what a really chilled month. This one, like, just log in, play, enjoy playing, and at the end of the month, look at my Sky account and think like, well, you made, oh, I don't know, five, six hundred quid range, something like that. And I'd be, I'd be fucking more than happy with that for the month of February. It's a shorter month, um, and then um, yeah, I've already taken care of my. February finance, if you will, have taken my money money off um, AAA. I've got, I haven't got money anywhere other than Sky, and I've withdrawn my Sky account. So effectively, I've already paid myself for February, even though it's like still January the thirty first. It's done. Like all the money I would expect to withdraw through the month of February has been withdrawn. My Sky bankroll has been artificially reset to a particular amount, which is more than enough for the games I want to play. So I can just play the entire month. Um, relaxed. It doesn't matter if I if I don't make enough money. It doesn't matter because I don't need to make any money this month. We can just chill. Um, and I want to see how much more I enjoy it when there isn't any focus whatsoever on hourly rates or hands per hour or this or that. I just want to chill out. Don't put any expectations on myself. Don't put any pressure on myself and see just how well I can do under those circumstances. So I'm going to be playing... 10 and L, 20 and L, and literally just playing for the purest pleasure. I'm a member of a, of a Discord group, and I was voted the grumpiest member of that group last year. And I mean, as much as I think that's maybe a little bit unfair, I mean, if enough people say it, it, it means it's probably more than an element of truth to it. 
I don't want to be known as a grumpy cunt. I don't want to be like the, the negative, cynical fucker all the time. I just want to enjoy myself. There's a lot of people in there at the minute who started, well, not started, but they've um, they've got a nice community. Like Jusenberg, for example, um, he's been playing MTTs. He's never been happier. Now, I'm not going to do that. There's not a chance I'm transitioning to MTTs. I tried doing it last night. I lasted three tournaments and I unregistered the rest. It was fucking dog shit. But I do enjoy playing, like, micro stakes, low stakes, cash. And just taking my brain out is getting on good soft tables and just playing some nice, relaxing ABC poker. And we'll see how we can get on. I mean, I think there's a good chance I'll still make over £500 playing relatively modest stakes. And if we do, then you know, I'll be happy with that. It'll be, it'll be pleasing with the other money I earn and with my like pretty non-materialistic lifestyle. That probably enough. The amount of, all that money tax free, it's probably enough. It'll, it'll probably do me just fine. So yeah, um, that's my results for the month. That's my loose plans for February. You never know with me. I might get fed up with Sky within fucking two or three days and end up back on the Euro site. But I hope not. I really hope not. Um, just to say, we haven't added the my Sky results to to this number yet. Um, and I think at the, at the moment of speaking, I think I'm just a, a shade less than three hundred on Sky. So that's going to put that in dollars, 500 maybe. So that's going to put my like earnings for the month in dollars at about 13 to 1400, which I'm pleased with. So uh, yeah, in a moment, we're going to get rid of this screen here and we're going to see what's happening on the Sky Streets. So here we are and straight away, we're not sticking to the plan uh, of 10 and L and 20 and L because there's... This is literally what's going on in the lobby in Sky at the moment. There's a 13 L and a 13 L table, both of which are just exceptionally good in terms of like the the tags of the players we've got. Uh, it's a 10 L table here. It's a 20 L table where I thought this guy was going to play, but he's not. And I'm on a couple of 10 L wait lists. So if a 10 L table pops up, we'll just get rid of this and have four tables actually running. But um, yeah, it's very surprising to see how low the traffic is on Sky. It's just like the first day of the promo. It's 11.30 in the morning. You would imagine there'd be a few grinders like wanting to go to a good start, or to a flying start. And I don't know, maybe this, I don't know, maybe it's too early to say, but maybe this doesn't bode well for the promo for Sky this month because uh, the lobby's being this dead. I mean, I get it's Monday, people will be at work and what have you, but in previous promotions, uh, traffic's been going from, I mean, it's half 11 in the morning now. Um, yeah, it, it just doesn't feel doesn't feel like there's many players having a go at this promo this this month. And if not, then the ten and L plan just goes right out the window, and we just do our normal our normal like stakes on Sky, our normal grind on Sky. Um, the ten and L table just popped up. We're gonna pop that on the side in case in case something doesn't in case one of these tables break. I don't want to just have a three table, so we'll. we'll um, Move this over there so it's not in view of the camera. Um, and we'll have it there ready to come in in reserve should we need it. This guy's just like bet three times. I'm hoping this is just a nine and not a king. No, oh, it's aces. Fair enough. Give them three bet aces pre. And then just started donking it small. I can live with that, Nath. That's fine, dude. I can fully get on board with how you played that hand. Um, donking again. Here we go. Oh, he's not donking. It's a lynch pot. So forget that. But we have got a good shot. We're just going to keep paying Nath small bets off. It looks like. Is that Nath's going to get us with death with a thousand cuts? Um, right. Another ten L tables popped up. Don't need that one. So we're just going to cancel it. Um, and I think we probably got the best hand here against Nath, where he doesn't bet the turn. And I just bet the river. I mean, bet check bets usually value, but fuck it. Again, getting a reasonable price for uh, for our hand in a small pot. So we just call. He got the queen three. Um, I'm losing all my bearings. Um, right, focus, Rich. Focus. Right, so we've raised two limpers here. We've raised it pretty hefty pre. Nine bigs, two callers. Um, checking here, we're essentially just giving the pot up. But I think out of position to two players... Just what I'm going to do. Just going to give the pot up. Um, another green tag. Fucking aware, all the regulars. Not disappointed. Here again, we've 
raise the pot up pretty big pre we've completely missed but this time we're in position so we're going to take a small stab and fold here we do get caught we turn what might be the best hand um we're certainly not going to barrel this turn because if we were to raise it would stink um so we're just going to check back and then maybe call some rivers depending on sizing happy this just to go check check again hope to beat an eight beat a three beat a flush draw etc and yeah king queen and decided he didn't like value and this is why we like sky you know when we get like not sucked out on but when players have good hands against us they don't get anywhere near as much value as the regs on the euro sites do because frankly um they're just not as good as the regs on the euro sites the 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 um yeah they're just not british players as good as european players on the whole especially not eastern european players um the the downside of sky is that you know, it's not always easy to play the hours I want to play, etc. But we talked about them a million times. It's not going to be a negative video. We're going to we're we'll playing like, lots of tables with lots of green tag players and other green tag players joined here, and we're just going to enjoy it. Win or lose, we're just going to enjoy the session because that's what February is all about. It's fun time, February, February, February. That's what it is. Uh, King 10, min race, min 3 bet. Nah, we'll just get out there, I think. Dunked into by Piper Tune, he's an interesting dude. Can't fold yet. Try from convinced we have the best hand, but we can't fold. Um, guess we just check back. Piper Tune is certainly capable of having bluffs. Um, so I don't think we definitely got the, the worst hand here when he goes bet, check, bet. Not in love with it, but we have an easy call. Of course we don't have the best hand. I mean, why would we have the best hand? But again, we didn't lose too much and we can't be disappointed. We made the straight over here on the off-camera table. It's going to make a pretty large bet. And we get two folds. And S3 suited. That's got to be an open at tables like these. I'm not expecting there to be too many three bets on any of the tables right today. So if there are any three bets, we're going to give them quite a lot of respect because these green tag players they're not the types there's the occasional ones who we just go three bet potty but they stand out like store thumbs and then the rest of the time people just play pretty honestly the queen seven six rainbow no suit is just going to be like the easiest give up in the world for us uh pocket sevens down here multi-way and um, we're going to kick off with a bet because i don't expect people to like stab widely enough if we check through UTR Baby is one of the most shambolic players you could ever wish to see on a poker site. And there uh, we are not going to give him any more money when the spade comes. Uh, we can just fold literally anything here. We could almost consider folding the aces, but no, that's a joke of course. But yeah, fuck you UTR. We never give UTR value. That is a one golden rule it is um, on sky 10 and l is if utr is betting we are folding because he's such a filthy filthy knit bag um bottom pair here back doors call them in bet <laughs> yeah min raised <laughs> and then he folds what the fuck these games are good um, turn a flush draw with the board pairs. Yeah, we're going to raise it up here on the 13 on table. 
He bets 40 pence. We're not, we are not good here. We do not have the best hand, but we might make the best hand. Uh, we haven't made the best hand. Uh, we don't have the best hand up here either very often. This table's breaking. Um, all of a sudden, we might have a bit of removals going on. Uh, checking back here, betting big with our set here. Continuing to check with the tens, just trying to get to showdown. Um, going to bet big again here to charge flush draws. We see queens never folding, but it's our last chance to get value from flush draws, so we're going to go pretty big. Sadly, he folds. Checking down here against big bet, hoping to win, expecting to lose. We do win. He's 6 3, decided not to bluff at any point, despite the fact it was obvious that my hand was weak. Pairing a flush draw, we bet, we got called. Um, going to bet again. Hold in there, hold in there, hold in there. And um, we're just going to check this river. Uh, we haven't got the best of bluff catchers. Whether we do end up bluff catching will depend on his sizing. We're not bluff catching versus almost pot. Um, up here, we are going to bump it up to seven big blinds. And sadly, we get two folds. I hope this table doesn't break. I like 30 now when there's no legs around. Flopping the flush draw. Getting the fold, which is the second best result. The best result being getting the call and then getting there. Money, money, money. Right, so we've got Stark who's raised under the gun and he's clicked the pot button. We have a suit with ace on the button. Um, we're not going to three bet. We're just going to call and take some flops in position with a nut maker and allow the blinds to come along too, if they, if they so choose. We min three bet by Nick here. We don't like it, but we're calling with a flop of butt shot. Uh, we flop second pair here and we are not betting. We are not pursuing our good shot against that stack depth. Calling the turn if he bets, especially when he bets that size. And if he bets small again on the river, we're probably calling. If he bets large, we're probably folding. If he bets small enough where we can call. Again, not expecting to win a huge amount of the time here, but we don't need to. We're getting a good price. Queen King just decided not to bet the flop and then just bet small twice. I love bats by heck. We could be in for a roller coaster because this man, well, this person, shall we say, don't want to assume his gender, is fucking potty. Absolutely potty. Um, just going to keep blocking here against Nick. Nick min races. <laughs> we, we don't win this part, but we just can't fall to a min race. Um, take it away, Nick, if you bet big. Yeah, just have it, Nick. Just fucking have it. You don't win money in the micro stakes by calling turn raises and calling river bets, regardless of how silly the sizing is. It's not how to make money in the micro stakes. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to show force down and have them be like a winner. We, don't, or, well, we, we could possibly, but we don't want to induce any bluffs on this guy that we can't call. Uh, we don't want to just give him any free cards if he just has like two over cards. Uh, and if he continues to put money in, we just now we do we just shut down. What you don't want him having there is like, I don't know, fucking A6 off suit and just letting him get there. Or him having A6 off suit, missing the turn and just betting because we checked. Uh, once he checked, calls one street and then we get this one out, we're just going to. Hope to beat a three. It's about all we can hope to beat. We were never winning that pot. Once that flop come down, we were never winning that pot. Flopping a straight on the 10 and L table, which is nice. A try for a check raise, although multi way pots check through in an ordinate amount of the time. A try for the check raise anyway. 
Um, this guy's a bit full pot. Just makes me think he might like his hand. So we're going to go for a pretty biggish raise. And he just folds straight away, which is pretty annoying. But never mind. We have to be a bit tighter with our opening with this guy to our left. He loves a min three bet. He just loves like peeling any two suited cards. Um, he's incredibly active. Do not be surprised. I mean, we're going to probably be making this video for another what, 35 minutes. Do not be surprised if this guy stacks at like, man, maybe there's not enough money in the game at the minute. Um, but if this was like, if there's slightly more money at the table, a few more regs at the table, this guy's stack could easily be at like 90 quid within like 10 or 15 minutes. Or he could have, he could just like bust it three times. He's a very active player and we love to see it. I think so far, maybe he's got the better of me. Um, we had that video a couple of weeks back where we were just battering, maybe not, no, hang on, no, because we ended up with like, Hundred and sixty pound at the table once, didn't we? So maybe not. Uh, flopping a set down here against Uti baby. Not expecting to get an awful lot of money out of this guy. Uh, I'm going to kick it off with a small bet. If he calls him, he's going to go bigger, but no, he just falls. I mean, the guy just—he's he's, oh, no, 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 no. We're not going to get into it. We're not going to be salty about him. We're not going to be insulting about him. It's positive week. It's positive. It's it's funky. It's fun February. We're not going to slag people off. We're not going to be unpleasant because we're here to enjoy ourselves. Um, you know, we're not going to be toxic, but I'm biting my tongue. I am biting my tongue and shaking my head. Doing well so far. Anyway, look, start, stack, start, stack, start, stack, 11 bigs. So how about you just shut up, Reg, and start trying to make some fucking money? You fat idiot. Let's have a vape. That's what we'll do. Have a little slurp on our pop and we'll have a vape. One thing I can be negative about is I went to make a cup of tea this morning. We've already run out of fucking Yorkshire tea bags, haven't we? So I had to do it do with fucking Tetley. Fuck off, Tetley. Tetley fucking tea. It's like drinking fucking hot grit. Horrendous. Horrendous it was. Left it. Had about two sips and like you can fuck off. I was insulted by it. And I just left it. I don't want to peel the King Jack off here on the bottom. But I don't want to fold it either. So we're going to go with the three bit. It's too weak to call with, too strong to fold, I think. So go with the squeeze. Flopping a good shot. In these situations, the things I'm usually most worried about is just some players flopping sets. Um, and I think sets are as likely here. It doesn't have a set of queens, almost certainly. Deuces and nines, possibly. Does this player even open deuces under the gun? I don't know, maybe. And that was like my biggest bugbear at the moment. And maybe I'm wrong on this, but in my opinion, you know, we probably shouldn't be calling too many three bets out of position with like small, medium pocket pairs. Uh, in the micro stakes, because people's three betting ranges are just kind of like not that many premium pairs in them, you know. Um, and a lot of the time, it's just hands that we just don't get good implied odds from, you know. It's not like the olden days where if people three bet, they just had like aces or kings, and you were guaranteed to to double up if you flopped a set. That that's not the thing anymore. You can flop sets in three bet pots now and just win no money almost. 
So I don't think the implied odds are there for set mining. So my biggest bugbear is people that still fucking do it. Um, and I think too many people do still do, still do it. And um, I think that's why they get crushed out of position. I think it's why people have some pretty shitty red lines because they're calling too many three bets with very one-dimensional hands and just have to like, add, they try and cling on a little bit too much with their medium pairs and they end up just folding at some point during the hand or what have you. It's, I don't think it's good to set mine out of position, basically. It's one of the biggest bugbears. When people do it against me, I find it very annoying. So I'm always worried that people have got sets because I don't, you know, I don't think they should have them because I don't think they should be defending those hands. But um, I understand, like, if people are using range charts and, oh, we call this X amount of times to a three bet. But that's assuming that people are three betting correctly and wide enough. Um, so you have to defend more of your opening range. That is just not the case in the micro stakes. It is not the case in the micro stakes that people are three betting anywhere near appropriately enough to you then to use your charts to figure out what which hands you should be defending. You know, if if people are three betting appropriately, then the charts are good because it tells you what you need to defend and how often you need to defend it. But if the play the players you're playing against aren't three betting appropriately, then the like the three bet defence charts are just gonna be way off. Um we probably don't win here, but we've got trips, so we're gonna call No we don't win. We're playing so you turn the nuts and you got two bigs of value. Um got a very obvious draw here but we need to draw to it because the pot is just so small we turn us as a top pair and i guess we can raise for value with the insurance of if we do get called by a better hand of any potential to improve and we river two pair but it's a terrible two pair to river i love back to the left which is a shame and we're just going to check fold <laughs> afford our weak top pair there to a, a called and then we got raised um we might have the best hand but it'd be pretty hard to get to showdown with the best hand if the bets keep going in um do you want to make this here i mean he's made it for it i guess i guess that's fine i don't know but i guess that's fine flop ass has an over pair spr of three just about just getting the money in as quickly as possible before any unpleasant cards come off? I guess we've set up turns for a shove, so I guess that's what we're going to do. And happy days. 4x, call, jack 9 or UTG, then C, flop, turn, queen, jack, XX. That's a good enough knot. Basically tells me not to bluff. And that's all we need to know. <laughs> uh, King 10 off. Some dead money in the pot. Let's try and get ourselves after that dead money. <clears throat> Flopping two pairs. it off with a bet and taking it down How good these games are. Look how good they are at the moment. I hope that's the case for the week. 
uh, open up here in the back door here. So I'm going to kick up with a check. Pepper June's doing it all up nicely down here. Not stabbing here multi way. That uh, back door draw can't be to the nuts because the board's pet. Min bet, call, min raise. Go on then. Oh, we've driven a straight. Air flush even. Uh, we'll have a cheeky bet and hope not to get raised. the ace king over here if anything interesting happens we'll drag it back in <laughs> now we just raised and everybody folded The table doesn't break, but we do have the reserve table if we need it. Quickly scan the lobby. If there's anything else interesting going on, nope. We're at the only tables currently running at 20 and 30 you now. Mm. Um, I guess we're okay just considering the pot here. Our back door drawers are not particularly strong. concede the pop <clears throat> yep once at this table the 20 other table is going to die if he dies, he dies, I guess. Do we need to stab here? I think with our backdoor flush draw and our backdoor straight draw, it would be a shame to bet and get raised here, so we'll just take our free card. We just stab. We picked a decent chunk of equity. Raising here and getting three bet would stink. So we should just call. And maybe we'll raise this river if he bets again. Depending on his size, the bigger he bets, the less likely I'm going to be to want to raise. Um, he checks. Don't think we win with our ace high. So we're going to bet and just try and make him fold a nine or an eight. I'm trying to make you fold a 9 or an 8, and he calls with a 3. Well played, Reg. Well played, Reg. My heads up game is not good. Maybe he's supposed to call with his 3 there. I don't fucking know. Mm-mm. <laughs> Um, we've isolated here and we've got one caller at the blinds. I'm going to take a little stab because he might fold. He doesn't fold. I don't think this is the guy we want to be tripling. And we might still have the best hand. Not very often, I guess, but we might. 
turning two pair of twenty mil table. Popping a set down here against UTR baby. Uh, still going for value down here, but I'm going to go a bit smaller now because the ace probably going to be a pretty scary card for him. And we are looking for calls here. And he folds. I think this guy's going to be quite boring to play against. Yeah, fuck it. We'll just bring the other 10 mil table in. Can't be asked playing 20, 20 nil. I mean, I'm a boring heads up player. He seems like he's going to be boring. And I don't want to be taking like, all my attention for a boring heads up match when I'm trying to record a video. <laughs> Trying to isolate the, excuse me, the blue tag on table two with a pretty weak hand. And we just take it down, which is a fine outcome. This is the downside of making live play videos is that you just have like long periods of time where there isn't an awful lot to say. <clears throat> UTI is just not going to bet a worse hand if we check, so we may as well just bet ourselves. Taking it down. I think we'll probably just knock the recording on the head because there isn't much to say, there isn't much going on. <clears throat> and um, I think, like, the while we, if we continue to scare for the rest of the month, now and again, I'll just record a session and pick the best hands out of it and do probably like at least a video every Monday, maybe on a Thursday too. Who knows? But, um, yeah, live play videos, they just stink, don't they? They just stink. We've got the messages across we wanted to get across with this video, with that, the diary update, if you will. Um, so I think we'll play this as queen out, and if nothing else interesting happens before we finish playing the hand, we're not going to see about the 5-9 deuce rainbow against someone who limp called 7x is potted it. It's going to fold. So yeah, we'll leave it there with the video. Apologies, it's been a short one, but yeah. I'm reminded why live play videos stink, so um, we'll leave it there. Have a great week, everybody. Maybe back Thursday, maybe not. Depends how asked it can be to record sessions and, like, edit the hands together. Doesn't take a lot of doing, but I'm a lazy cunt. So, yeah, hopefully we're back Thursday. If not, definitely back next Monday. Have a great week, everybody. Good luck, everyone who's on the grind, and take care. Bye-bye for now.